out at Oakland tonight where the A's plan to build a new ballpark at Howard Terminal. It's generating new concerns from some community leaders. The proposed 35,000 seat stadium would only have 2,000 parking spots. So that would likely force some fans to park in Chinatown less than a mile away from the ballpark. KPX 5's Da Lin is live in Chinatown with the concerns and also some potential solutions. Da. Right, Julia. Chinatown leaders say, let's be clear, they're not against the Howard Terminal ballpark. They want the A's to stay in Oakland, but they do want some modifications that they say would make the game plan a win-win for both the A's and Chinatown. Most shoppers agree daytime parking in Chinatown is a nightmare. We circle the whole area twice and everybody is double parked and we just go home without parking and stopping anywhere. They say adding a ballpark nearby could gridlock the business district. There will be good traffic and there will be bad traffic. Chinatown Chamber of Commerce President Carl Chan says good traffic is when fans park and spend money in Chinatown before or after the game. Bad traffic is when they take up a spot and leave without spending a penny. Many of our small businesses are left out of this you know, conversation. So uh, that's the reason why we really need to making sure uh, we will voice uh, their concerns to making sure that you know their voices are being heard. Chinatown is not opposed to the Howard Terminal Project. Evelyn Lee is the board president of the Oakland Asian Cultural Center. She says the A's have to look at building more parking spots and find ways to solve traffic problems that their fans could potentially cause. Chinatown was not included in the city's environmental review. Community leaders would like the A's to not only promote Chinatown as a shopping destination to their fans, but also allow Chinatown restaurants to have free or discounted concessions at the ballpark. Counting on the A's to step up um, as a member of the community, as a neighbor, and to be a good neighbor, not one that comes in and wipes out an existing thriving community. So, Da, are the A's responding to these concerns? No response from the A's after reaching out to them this evening, but in the past, they have been very uh, been very receptive to supporting neighboring businesses, but these uh, community leaders say they just lip service. They want something in writing, ideally a provision in the term sheet because the city council is set to vote on a term sheet with the A's on July 20th. Julia? All right. Da, thank you.